Alright, so today I'm going to try and create a Python script which essentially calculates the entropy of a password. So the entropy of a password can be defined as how strong the password is. Okay, so we'll import sys function and using the math function as well. So we'll create a variable, we'll say the key space is equal to zero. And we'll set this as global so that it can be accessed by all our functions. So we'll create our method, so we'll say we'll call it get key speed. And then we'll pass the password in once we get it. And we'll put in our helper statement. So we'll say um, prints the entropy value for an ASCII password. And then we'll set this variable here, global. So we'll say global key space. And then what we'll do is we'll see that our character set. So there's 95 uh, characters that are available in ASCII, so we'll assign this to our character set variable. We'll then say the key space is equal to the character set. And then star star, which means to the power of. And then length. Password. Okay. So then now what we're going to do is we'll do another print statement and we'll say password and then we'll do comma and then we'll show what the actual password is that the user put in and then we'll say uh, total of and then we'll string key space and then key combinations so it should so, uh, it will show us the password the actual password that's inputted by the user and then it will say total of and the length how many key combinations there are and then what we'll do is return key space so we'll go and create a main. So what we can do is we can either get our input password from the raw input from the user or we can hard code into the, the script. So I'll do a comment here. So this is how you would pass it in. So it's say password is equal to test But what I will say is if we do raw input then we'll say please enter password and we want to assign this to And then we want to call the get key space. And then we want to pass in this here, so we'll say password. So we're passing it in, it's been assigned here, passed in here, and then passed it up here so it can be used in the method. And then We'll go ahead and copy across our boiler code. Okay. So it's just a simple little script. Um, so essentially it shows us how many variations um, of the password there can be. So we'll save this as uh, Uh, 
Gosh, we're getting Peter. Uh, oh. So I messed up a comma. Let's try that again. Um, so to stick with test one two three. So it shows us password is so this is the password we've put in here. Total of this many. So there's that's how many key combinations um, that there are for this password. So if I have to sit and manually check, um, essentially how many characters. To crack this password, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there is a variation of 95 characters that I could use within the, the ASCII alphabet. So I could use letters, characters, numbers, etc. But this is how many combinations that there would be to crack a password of this length.